Hi there, Virgo. Hope you guys had a great December. Um, I appreciate your patience in bringing you this reading. <clears throat> We're gonna be doing the Celtic Cross today. Uh, similarly to the last month's layout of cards. We're gonna have your dip your deep past here, followed by your recent past, your current state, the help or hinder card, which is sort of like the advice card. Then we're gonna have the near future, hopes and or fears card, and then your final outcome here off in the corner. Crowning the reading up at the top, we're gonna have three cards. The first is the environmental energies that you really stepped into. Sorry, actually no, that's the middle one right here. This is going to be the energies that you really stepped into that helped lead you to your current state. The central card is going to be your environmental energies that lay at your feet as you move forward through the month. The third and final crowning card is going to be the sort of most likely energetic pathway that you're moving through and towards. Okay, it's the sort of most likely potential outcome as some call it. Now, without further ado, let us shuffle a bit here. Wow. Just to get a sense of what is going on here. So out popped a 10 of wands in reverse, judgment in reverse, and six of cups upright. Let's hold on to these. And I feel like this card wants to come out as well. Wow, you guys have a lot of energy going on here. You want to pull them. Nine of wands in reverse. Okay, we'll keep these. Oh my. There's a lot uh, that's going on, it seems. Okay, here we go. Deep past, recent past, current state, advice card, current and uh, near future, hopes and or fears. Final outcome, the energy that you stepped into that helped lead to your current state, the environmental energies, and the energetic pathway that you're moving towards. And this is the theme of the reading here, the Father of Wands in reverse. So let us, and there's a lot of Wands energy, and it does seem so, there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of... Mm, uh, I don't want to say angst, but uh, there's a lot of passion. There's something that you're hot-footed about. Hot-footed, just like this goat here on the devil card. So, <clears throat> let's take a look at the cards at play here, okay? You have quite a number of major arcana, okay? You have the judgment card that popped out, major arcana. You have the magician, major arcana. The moon, major arcana. The lovers that popped out, major arcana. The emperor, major arcana. The devil, major arcana. And let's see if we have one below. Nope, we don't have one below the father of wands, okay. So, now, let's take a look at the other elements at play, 
okay? You have a pentacles and a pentacles in your deep past and your recent past. Okay, so um, coming forward from a period of perhaps financial or career related stagnancy, displeasure, okay, discontent with some aspect of the tangible world around you, your groundedness, right? Perhaps feeling like there was a down step of some sort in position. Okay. That's the only real place except for the Six of Pentacles here in your near future that kind of makes a comeback. So you're going from a Five to a reversed Son of Pentacles, right? And then to a Six of Pentacles here in your near future. So there is, it seems, a revival of that coming in the near future. So it seems. And there's just an absolute abundance of, of wand energy, fire energy, right? The, the um, again, the hot-footedness, wanting to run with something, wanting to m move forward and make progress in some way. The two of wands, decision making with a real emphasis, right? Looking very finely and in, in, in a focused fashion on the decision that you want to make. Okay, and the Son of Wands in reverse here. Okay, so from Son of Pentacles, Son of Wands. So there's like a switch, it seems, in perhaps the persona that you're taking on, right? Maybe the expectation that you had upon yourself was to be more of the earthly, grounded sort of um, character. Okay, and so maybe you felt like that wasn't achieved in some form. Okay, and so it's now coming to the point of, right, the point of really needing to take a closer look, a finer look at the details um, right, it's sort of like a crossroads, like this situation isn't working, what do I do now in a way, sort of thing. Okay. And right atop all these cards is the seven of pentacles. Okay, but these are the ones that popped out, and let's see if we have any pentacles here, I don't believe we do, nope. Okay. So you have like earth, prominent earth energy and then prominent fire energy, almost at like a standstill, almost in like battle form against each other, in, sort of, right? Pentacles, uh, sorry, yeah, pentacles, earth, fire, wands. Strong earth energy, earth, strong fire energy. Okay, and the emperor, I always kind of see, you know, depends on the spread, but I see the emperor as this fusion between earthly, bounded, grounded energy and very fiery, right, molten lava, sort of reservoir of passion and drive, okay, and initiative. There's rigidity and yet the power that the emperor wields, okay? So, and the devil is a earth-related card, okay? It speaks to the earth, the the earth element and there is a pentacle on the forehead of this goat or this mountain goat ram animal so it seems that there is maybe disappointing something disappointing that you have dealt with or are now dealing with from your past having to do with your sense of groundedness or finances or career okay so the point at which you're now brought to make a decision about something 
wise reached. Due to this father of swords in reverse energy that you stepped into. Now, these almost look like swords. These two wands look almost like swords in this card. Almost resembling, right, this one sword that's on this Father of Swords card. The Father is the highest suit of any element, okay? So it's the highest expression um, of, that, of that element, which speaks to air which speaks to the intellectual faculties, right, that one has. The sort of logical rationale with which one um, derives a final conclusion or answer. But this card is in reverse, right? So it's some sort of perhaps maybe error in judgment or inability to really see clearly right because swords speak to clarity as well they speak to uh the ability to discern with uh, clear-headedness clear-mindedness so perhaps right you weren't able to fully evaluate something or logically comprehend a situation parse out the details and so you're now brought to the point of needing to come down to it and really figure something out. Take the reins with figuring something out. Okay, this is a more active energy, right? With the two of wands coming to a point. This energy with the father of swords is slightly more passive. I see it as passive, right? He's not really using his sword. He's just kind of like perched upon it. He's not, doesn't seem to be in a situation of needing to use the sword, okay? It's almost as if this is just simply his, his armor, okay? Or his even medallion. Okay, so, so some sort of inability to see a situation clearly with, with complete clarity being brought to the point of needing to make a, a clear and concise decision, right? Action taken towards making the decision. But needing to make the decision with your intuition, this is really what this card is speaking to when it's in this spread like this, in your advice position, okay? The moon rules the sign of cancer okay really underlines one's uh, reliance on their intuitive perception of a situation okay so it's almost like saying the the contrast between this very strong sword energy that wasn't perhaps properly tapped into or utilized And the softer, more intuitive, introspective nature of the moon, of the water element, right? Is perhaps saying tap more into your intuition about the situation. Yes, okay. Then in your near future, you have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, and the background of these two cards are very similar, right? This etched out black and white fuzzy sort of mystery condoning um, color tone and texture even. And so what that reads to me is that progress, right, will be made. The six will come from right the five the five to the six this progression will come from listening to your intuition okay now the son of wands is as your hopes and or your fears 
So do you perhaps feel a sense of insecurity about taking the first step and action really, right? Because you have this two of wands, right? You're sort of ready, but it's this is also in reverse, right? So this fire energy isn't completely manifested yet. You're just in the period of making a decision, but not really having made the decision quite yet. Okay, so there's a sense of delay perhaps even. And with the sun in a set of wands in reverse, um, maybe you're hesitant to make this final decision and to move forward with the decision that you make. Perhaps because you are relying and expecting to have all of the logical answers about it, to move forward with it, maybe perhaps that's one possible interpretation. But let's move forward throughout the spread to get a greater sense of it. So you're moving into the magician in reverse. Okay, but before we get to that, let's actually move into the crowning energy. Actually, let's first address this, okay. Now, the Magician Upright speaks to the true manifestation potential, right? Our connectedness with the four elements, with the universe, with the ways of the world that are mysterious inherently, right? And yet utilizing them, right, as sort of the magician, the master, okay? So being in control very much, being in control of all elements, having the answers, right? Without having the answers in a way. Having the answers within oneself. Do you see this figure eight on his chest? This is like in a way saying the answers lie in the ways of the universe, in your intuition. Right? Within the mystery lies perfect order, harmony and balance. It's the utilization of all these faculties, all of these elements that really allow us to create and to manifest and to move forward and to make progress in, in a truly balanced fashion. Okay? <clears throat> so... And when you think of the magician, right? A magician deals with mystery, right? The moon card speaks of mystery as well. And the color tone on the background of these two cards as well is very much similar to these three, okay? Sort of speaking to, I think, this sense of being in the dark about some aspect or some element of what perhaps went wrong in this situation from the past. Anyways, going back to the magician, it's really upright. The harmony of and the wielding of all four elements of earth, of fire, of water, intuition, and of the intellect, okay? So it's all elements working in fusion together, right? That the magician brings about his performance and his show. However, you have it in reverse, okay? When I look at these two cards side by side, they're almost quite similar. There's this beam, this central point Right? Let me just make sure we are recording here. Okay. Perfect. There's this central beam, right? A focal point out from which are radiating these rays of light. Okay. So it speaks to enlightenment of some sort. Then I notice the prominence of this very stable central 
um, pole looking, supportive looking figure. Here it's the wand, here it's the sword. And then we have the creature in the same coiling fashion, okay? So in a way, these are two forms of an enterprising sort of nature, okay? The Son of Wands is young, fresh, he's going after his passions, his dreams, right? In a very motivated, driven way. The Magician, similarly, is motivated, is driven, okay? And he creates, she creates, they create, right? They are their own alchemist, the alchemist of their own world and life. This is a younger, more juvenile energy that focuses just on the wands element, just on the fire element, okay? It's almost one dimensional, right? And you have it in reverse. So it's almost like saying you haven't yet harnessed you're perhaps fearing what's holding you back is the stepping into and the embracing of the fire energy of this enterprising um movement forward okay and really right the take home message of that sort of concept is to embrace all of the elements together, not just the fire, not just the earth, not just the intellectual mind, not just emotion and um, intuition, but everything together, right? With self-assuredness, okay? The magician, is very confident, right? These are like his tools. Okay. So really utilize your tools, but it seems that you're going to need to overcome, right? The um, hesitation to utilize the fire energy in order to step into this right i see this as like a step up this is a much more well-rounded holistic manifester and one that's connected to intuition definitely so okay so then moving up into the environmental energies, you have the emperor in reverse. Okay. So I'm reading this as the emperor is inherently fire energy. But again, there is this tall beaming tree that's deeply rooted into the ground. Okay, so it does speak in a way as well to the earth element, pentacles. So, potentially, it's possible that in your environment, right, something that previously was grounded in some shape or form, Okay, is going to be uprooted. It's the uprooting of, in a way, even false, um, mm, false passion, perhaps. I don't know if that's quite it. I don't know, you know, if if that's exactly. The wording for this but it's the uprooting i'm seeing it referencing back to these two cards it's the and especially because the son of pentacles is in reverse it's the uprooting of 
something that perhaps no longer serves you or served you, okay? Because the emperor, in spite of being the emperor, is still a... is still almost like a hot-headed energy. Hot-footed, hot-headed, <laughs> right? Um, similar to the devil card here with the hot feet. So it's sort of like the emperor holds power, but doesn't necessarily know how to wield it in a way that is fair and just and wise and there is this beckoning for wisdom inner wisdom right so who knows right how exactly this can play out but with the emperor in reverse i'm reading it as there was perhaps a sense a conveyed sense of stability okay where passion technically supposedly was present within that situation, but wasn't really shining in its most vibrant form, right? Like, look at the colors and the vibrancy of the background of these cards, the Son of Wands and the Magician, and even the Two of Wands. There's so much color, okay? But here, it's like the color, the only color on the card is just glowing from the supposed sun, which is dark. So there's, I'm getting the feeling this perhaps was a situation that wasn't entirely what it seemed. And it's now being uprooted, perhaps. Perhaps. Then in your third crowning position, you have the devil upright. Okay. Let me digest this. So I'm seeing the hot feet here speaking to this fiery sun on the emperor card in the environment so perhaps you're taking something from your environment or this situation it could be a lesson right even perhaps and you're moving away from this past this situation But again, there is a prominence, right, of this earth element. But both of these cards really speak to the interplay between earth, groundedness, and fire, passion, desire. And this can even speak to, um, earth speaks to materialism, material things, the tangible world, right? And the devil speaks to the dependence, the codependency, the desire, right, for things. And the insistence with which we pursue them. So I'm getting the feeling, perhaps, that there... Mm, there's maybe a reluctance to let the situation go or something about the situation that you feel you um, want to preserve in some way or maintain like the status quo about it. But still, there is a sort of over focusing maybe on on the earth element yet again 
yet again, the need to balance all elements, earth, wind, sorry, earth, air, water, fire. But perhaps you feel that there's some sort of discontent, some resentment maybe even, I mean, hopefully not, right? I don't necessarily want to say that, but it could be that you are stepping away from whatever the situation was with a feeling of, hmm, all right, now I'm off. I'm going to get better or something like that, right? But some sort of upset and yet connection. That's what I mean. Upset yet connection. Disgruntledness, dissatisfaction, yet still in regards to this, right? Being affected by this situation, but turning away from it also in some fashion. Okay, but there is sort of an over-focusedness on, on that earth material aspect to whatever this scenario is, okay? But wherever this devil goes, right? It seems like he's just walking away, trailing away. But he, he leads right into this magician if you look at his eyesight, the line of sight leads straight into the magician. Almost like saying this transformation is inevitable. This is where ultimately, right? You're being led. Your ultimate freedom with the lovers in reverse, which is not yet manifested, right? It seems freedom in regards to the work you do, in regards to your finances, right? Lies in your ability to balance and maintain all elements and aspects together, right? Of your being, of your life, of your approach towards things, okay? So this may just be the initial sort of reaction, the, even the emotional reaction, or the sort of immediate response, right, to whatever this situation is, the going down, the uprooting of what was not working in your past. And so above these cards that flew out is the Mother of Wands, okay? And this is like the ultimate, the mastery of the wands energy in a very nurturing way, in a way that's protective over what has been created, right? Her eggs, fire symbolizing creation, creativity, okay? So and it's right above this six of cups. So these are two very fertile cards, right? The roots on this card are are very much uh, the focus of this card, I would say, especially in this spread, right? Red in the spread, it's like fertile. The water is what helps this tree grow, okay? Water is necessary for earth to survive and prosper. Okay, so again, the interplay between elements. The concept behind true creation, true manifestation, right? True mastery is the fusion and the understanding, the subtleness, the subtle understanding that all elements work together to create. Water and earth harmonize together as one to create, okay? And so 
below these two cards, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse and Judgment in reverse, Major Arcana. So the decision to To set behind the old ways of doing things. This is a completion of a cycle, right? Of a way of doing things. 10 is um, a very cyclical number, right? It's the ending of the cycle, getting ready to start anew, okay? It's somewhat of a penny, petty energy as well, especially when compared to the Mother of Wands. This is a very mature, wise, high level expression right of this wands fire energy really being utilized and manifested in a way that is sort of um more as a character right an archetype that use utilizes the fire energy rather than just simply the fire energy itself in magnitude so to speak so if this is speaking to creation and the necessity of the fusion of elements, much like the magician. This is speaking to the decision that has not yet been made to leave behind an old way of approaching action. Okay. Because this really speaks to a fresh approach in terms of the wand's fire energy. This is a very enterprising card, right? He's going out on a brand new journey, okay? There's color on this card. So, and it's in reverse. So, again, an old way of doing things must be left behind. And even the perception, right, that we have or the prejudice that we have towards a certain way of doing things maybe is back in to be reevaluated. Okay. There is definitely focus on the evaluative um, concern. Okay, with the Father of Swords, very in a, a very evaluative card. The Two of Wands, very much a point of decision judgment as well very much the decision to change a situation okay okay and ultimately i think this is speaking to becoming the ultimate creator and manifester impedes on your ability to let go of what doesn't work Okay, the past way of doing things, the past way of looking at action and movement forward. Okay, the way we see action and change and progress. Okay, are we compartmentalizing it? I think that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's really, I think that's really a question, right? Are we compartmentalizing our skills and our assets? Or are we embodying them and utilizing them in tandem together as one? Okay, so now moving forwards, moving on to these four cards that popped out. You have the Nine of Wands in reverse, leading to the moon symbol on the card itself nine is almost a ten almost culminating not quite there yet right and you have the ten of wands there so on either side you have successional wands cards i think this is really saying you haven't yet completed the cycle of wands right the way of doing things because you have yet to really listen to your intuition these two moon symbols right really you're being led to listen to your intuition 
the eight of wands right above it. Again, successional, okay? And the lovers in reverse above that with the seven of pentacles above it all, okay? So I'm reading this as your regimented dedication to something in a very systematic way, almost monotonous, right? Single track mind, that's really how I see it. But it's leading up. It's not really leading anywhere in sight. It seems almost like without aim, right? Just working, 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 chugging away, plugging away. And that's perhaps leading to your lack of this feeling of freedom. And sorry about that, the phone died. This imagery really mirrors in a way that of the judgment card in reverse. You have this dove trying to fly up. These two doves are flying together, right? Forward. So there's this element of flight and of, in a way, freedom, right? This is a very entrapped feeling, one that is almost endless, right? Without sight of completion of when something will be coming about. And so, it's also leading up into sort of more of the same, it seems almost, right? Not really leading into any fortuitous card, perhaps. So when it's above the lovers, it's almost like saying this sort of approach is what's holding you back, okay? But a big change needs to happen in the way you see things, in the way you do things, and the way you organize your actions. And a closer look is going to be needed and taken that will help you really complete the cycle and make change forward. The cycle and to really transform the way that you do things, okay? Then your thematic cards, the Father of Wands in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the Father of Cups in reverse. Okay. So again, there it's it's speaking to this element of you have your Mother of Wands here and you have your Father of Wands here. A big desire to create, to be the creator, to instill progress to manifest, okay, with confidence, right? To be in command, to feel in control, to have passion and vitality and fire behind what you do and your actions, behind everything that you do. A sense of will, but it's in reverse, so it's really boiling down, okay, to your this sense of um, feeling that you have not tapped into this truly creative space. And I think, right, this four of pentacles below it, this sort of speaks to a chaos, right? almost a lack of organization and structure, okay? Poor planning almost behind what you're hoping to create or what you were hoping to create, okay? You haven't achieved this perhaps yet, in part if it's regarding this old situation due to a, a, a mismatching of elements okay almost too focused on too much thought and thinking on laying the foundation in a certain way in terms of your finances or your career okay being extremely focused almost in a petty way and in a um in a narrow-minded way, okay? Towards 
the establishment of some sort of aspect of your financial material life, okay? And below that, you have this Father of Cups. So you have the Father of Wands, the Mother of Wands, the Father of Cups, okay? Speaking to the highest suit of all of these elements, right? And I really think speaking to the importance of utilizing all of these elements, okay? But utilizing the highest, most wise, matured form of all of these elements, okay? As the magician does. And right below that, you have the Daughter of Pentacles. So once you reassess your approach towards the foundation of what makes you grounded, this will bring you the Daughter of Pentacles, this new fresh beginning in terms of some aspect of um, financial matters, career endeavors, or just generally, right? How you view those things, how you view material assets, your expectation of them and their role perhaps in your life, okay? So thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Um, I will be back hopefully within the next few days to have another reading for you guys for the mid month of January. Um, until then, just stay tuned and be back with more. All right, guys, enjoy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.